boat to work forward. And I feel like there's pretty pretty good. I feel like that too. I think you just go like and then we have to get to 45, roughly wherever we feel like, it's probably something like that. So just come down. If you just clamp, yeah, yours up there. Um, I think you'll be able to pin that. And then you just imagine that distance forward will loosely equal that distance forward there. So at some point we're doing this funny little pointy yeah. one. So I don't know if we want to come more. We want to come more vertically on it. But then when we come back, we want that angle to sort of match up with that, which it looks like it is kind of so. Do we want to know what angle we're doing now? Well, 45 should be equal distance down as well as across. Yeah. And right now that looks about 45, that yeah. distance and that distance. I don't think 45, you don't have to do 45. Just yeah. One of those things. Do we want to line a couple up next to each other to see what they'll do? Um, but they bent nicely. I'm impressed with. Yeah, it'll be harder up there though. It will be very hard with all the cars, but. So that was sort of six now. We can do five as well. Well, do you do we want to try and make one up the back to see if it bends? That's about the limit I think it's pretty nice. Yeah. So when we get there we'll just have to eat dinner or something. It gets a bit pointless after well, not really, unless you're doing more lines. You know, unless you're doing another one the other way, then it'd be okay, but So this is our plastic nail gun from OMA. Um, they're hard to find in Australia. There's only two companies that sell plastic nail guns. We're hoping to use this to pin all our veneer on. Um, shoots these little, almost glow in the dark nails. They're sandable, planable, um, and they don't rust. So for a strip plank boat or veneering, it's kind of perfect. It's a beautiful little weapon, I can't wait to cover it in epoxy. <laughs> I have some test fires. See what happens. Oh yep, stuck. So then... There's a plastic nail, there you go. All right, take it then. piece of wood. Wow. That 
That's very cool. It holds it in there. I should stop or else I'll never get this. So our first uh, four planks of veneer are on. They're looking pretty good. Self-faring in a way as you go. Um, there doesn't seem to be any big voids or anything between the diagonal and the fore and aft. To get the diagonal, we sort of eyeballed it at a rough 45 or what looks good. Um, I'll show you what's happened here.
So the wood we are using is about 70 wide and five, well actually quarter inch thick, so 6.35 I think mil thick. Um, we're buying 90 by 35s and we can get four pieces of this, ripping it up with the saw. If we went any wider, I think we'd have sort of a bulge. Um, I think with the 70, it's quite good. You don't go around the curves with a flat piece of wooden trying to force it in. You know, you kind of want the narrower strips for something like this. Um, we've started discovering we have to spile, which means reducing an edge as you go around a compound curve. So we've got full width at the top on this one, and then it tapers down to nothing. So now we should have a straight edge for the next, hopefully, two planks, and then we may have to spile again. But we're really just devising how to do this right now. Um, and just getting the hang of it. But yeah, it looks good. But I really want to make sure the glue is in there. The boys are... As soon as we get the boys, it's going to catch the knot. Clean when you're working with epoxy. <laughs> Don't want it all stuck together. So it's cling wrap and tape. So this is day three of putting the veneers on and we've um, come about a third of the port site now, maybe a quarter. Optimistic um, third. An optimistic third and a realistic quarter of the way on port site. Um, it's made a, a support just because we're adding so much extra weight to the one side of the boat. Um, we just want to be sure to keep it all safe and steady. We're getting a little bit better at it, which is nice. We're going quicker and getting the hang of it. Um, it's a lot of epoxy and the, I think this is the right time of the year for us to do this. We've been thinking about this process for months, maybe even 
the last year already since we plank, strip planked up. Um, we always knew we were going to do this, these veneers, but it was a bit tricky to think how are we going to do it, what are we going to use, and Matt um, researched a lot because we didn't really want to use any steel fasteners or we used for the strip planking we used silicon bronze screws and bronze um, nails and for this part of the project we decided that we didn't want to use them if we could avoid it so we met investigated and we ordered a plastic nail gun which just holds the veneers in place the glue should do the work of holding it in for the rest of its lifetime. But we needed something to hold the veneers in place and um, the glue cures. So we're using plastic nails and we've got to spile every now and then to keep the angle right and to have the veneer sit true on the hull, um, which was a bit of a challenge the first few ones, but we're getting definitely getting better at it. Um, so yes, day three, three and a half. So we're gonna try and see how far we get. We have to go back to work tomorrow for a couple of days. Um, so that will mean that she'll, we have to put our own thing on hold again for a week and then we can continue again on the weekend. Um, nuts, let's see how we go today. So the system that we've got going with the epoxy is we um, put resin on the hull and resin on the on the veneers that we're going to use so that the resin can soak into the timber and then we have a thickened epoxy um, that we put on after that's what Matt's doing now and then we use these um, plastic toothed what are they? No notched uh, scraper. Trial scraper thing. And we run that over the thickened glue to make these little uh, notches so that all the glue is the same amount. Otherwise you might get humps and bumps in the, in the veneer. So we put them on. And it's somewhere for the glue to go. Yeah, it spreads the glue out, glue out nicely and you get an even amount of glue everywhere. Um, and like I started saying before, it's probably the perfect time because it's not too cold anymore, so the glue cures nicely, but it's also not hot enough for it to go off like a house on fire. Um, so yeah, perfect timing. See if we can trial some on.
Final piece. <laughs> Nothing gets wasted. <laughs> Shall I do the grain the other way just for a laugh? <laughs> yeah, why not? Artie. Um. Oh, it doesn't work. It's good in theory. <laughs> um. You want me to go in and. split if I put it in Done.
half of a side. We got that 45 like perfect on the end there. That's insane. Just like you planned. So we've almost finished half the boat with our diagonal planking. Um, made it up to the bow here quite perfectly on a 45. Well, you can't see, but probably got another metre and a half, two metres or so to go down aft. Um, the forward section was very easy. She's a lot flatter, less curves, less spiralling, you know, less manipulating the planks as you go. So that was quite good. You get a real run up at the bow and finish it very fast. Um, it's the back that's the tricky one. There's a big twist there at the tuck. You really got to push it in, but we're getting there and the plastic nail gun's working wonders so far. Um, basically just pinning it and holding it while the glue dries. I think it looks pretty cool. It's nice to see something different now. Once we're done with the other side, we can then laminate the backbone down and then it will look quite specky. I've made a couple of props, started propping one side. Once we get the diagonals on the other side, we can prop it because we've built the boat basically with these four props up here. Um, holding it up and a few of my mates get worried that she's gonna fall over and roll on us, but it hasn't happened yet, so, you know. Anyway, we'll prop it properly. Shores, I believe they're called. There it is. Went in perfectly. <laughs> oh man, nice. <laughs> Perfect timing. And I'm not. Done. You can probably shoot these as well. You can, <laughs> I don't know. That's it, free. Free shooting. Cool. Done. Nice. Nice job, team. Wipe sesh. Yes.